Good evening, everyone. Try that again. Good evening, everyone. Councillors, inaugural president of the University of Limerick, Ed Walsh, members of the University Executive, members of ULBO Advisory Board, members of the local and national sporting community, colleagues, and friends. Absolutely delighted to welcome you this evening to the launch of ULBO. ULBO is an initiative to create a world leading environment for the practice and research of sport and physical activity at the University of Limerick. Gary Ryan will provide more details on that shortly. The launch of ULBO this evening includes two presentations by giants in the, in the sports and coaching world in Ireland and in the UK. And we're delighted to have both of them here with us this evening. And we are delighted that they have agreed to deliver the inaugural uh, Pat Duffy Lecture, which will become an annual event on the PES and the ULBO calendar at the University of Limerick. This lecture has been created to acknowledge and celebrate the professional life's work of Pat Duffy a UL graduate who was former head of the National Coaching and Training Centre, now known as Coaching Ireland. He was Chief Executive of, Sporting, of Sport Coaching UK and as Professor of Sport Coaching at Leeds Metropolitan University in the UK from 2010 until his untimely death just a little over a year ago. I want to extend a very special welcome to Pat's wife Deirdre and their children, Niamh, Niall, Leah, Ashley, and Liam, and to members of Deirdre and Pat's families. <coughs> we are really delighted and truly honored that you could join us um, with us this evening and allowing us to honor Pat in this way. Thank you so much. We are beginning this evening's agenda with Gary Ryan, who provides an overview of the ULBO um, initiative, its mission and vision, its current projects, and its plans for the future. Gary Ryan is the project man manager for ULBO, and was a multiple Irish sprinting champion in his own right in the 100 and 200 meters between 1996 and 2005. During that time, he represented Ireland twice at the Olympics. Before joining UL as project manager for ULBO, Gary served as a lead sports development officer at NUI Galway, and we were delighted to coach him back as a former UL graduate. And before that, he was the director of coaching with Athletics Ireland. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Gary Ryan to the podium. Good evening. You're all very welcome uh, tonight to the launch of ULBO with our first um, Pat Duffy lecture. My job is to really just get out of the way as quickly as possible and explain to the captive audience what it is that we're trying to do. Um, just to give you a bit of background in this, this is a, a joint project between um, Campus Life Services, who are the people responsible for the accommodation and bringing events such as the um, Special Olympics to, to UL, um, UL Sport, who would have been the people you know who run our facilities here, and the Physical Education and Sport Sciences Department. And a number of years ago, they came together to ask the question, what can we do? We have a wonderful record for the last 40 years of innovating and being creative and being leaders in lots of areas in, this, in, in physical activity and sport. And what can we do to stay ahead or to be creative and innovative? And the person they turned to to facilitate a discussion between the members of staff of those three organizations was Professor Pat Duff. And Pat and the people in the three organizations came up with a report called Breaking New Ground in uh, Physical Activity and Sport. I'm just going to And um, that's better. And that wide ranging report had a lot of wonderful ideas and blueprints for what we could do here at the university. And it talked about the areas of physical activity, health, lifestyle, and sport, where we could make a real difference and be leaders. 
It particularly talked about things like the environment here in UL. How can we make that world class? They wanted to see if we could find new delivery models. How can we connect with our community the knowledge that we have in this university? How could we engage with high performance sport in a new way? How could we um, direct and influence policy in this country to make our communities and our country better? And all through this, there would be a strong theme of research that would inform our practice and, and help our future. And we have started on that road already. And for example, we already have people working in the environment and trying to make how our UL works better. So it recently, the university published a new strategy, Broadening Horizons, and in that it's got specific mentions of what UL will do. It will facilitate a new strategy for sport and physical activity. It will support the development of the current and future scholarships for athletes. It will help us develop a new idea, which is the health promoting campus, so that we have a healthy university for our students. We have projects already underway, so for example, this week, three of the staff, Clyde McIntyre, Matthew Herring, and Mark Campbell, along with their students and some athletes, are presenting a lecture series on concussion, on mental health and sport, and on resilience in sport. Next week, we have a number of our best top our best athletes and uh, some of our top coaches who are going to meet students who come here on open day and talk to them about what it means to be a dual career athlete in the university. We've Dr. Ian Kenny and Robert Carr have taken part of our masters in sports performance and made it into a smaller bite-sized course for people who don't have time to do a full-time master. So they've taken a video of performance analysis and delivered as a course on weekends for people to access what we do. We have I've worked with four current strong sports here to develop performance plans for the next couple of years, how they're going to access facilities, how they're going to work with us in terms of performance, coaching, sports science support. So for example, if you take somebody like Drew or Hayley Irishman, who are two of the best coaches in Europe in athletics for the last 20 years, we're going to provide them with sports science support, strength and conditioning team around them. We're going to provide video analysis to the GA teams, strength and conditioning support, and coaching support. And we're going to work with sports internally and externally to deliver those kind of projects over the next couple of years. Ultimately, what we're trying to be is a vehicle for us to do new and creative and innovative things. I always kind of use this analogy about this in that my dad was a bit of a mad inventor trapped in a mad farmer's body. He had in his garage a million and one projects that never got off the ground, or did get off the ground but never left our garage. And what we are looking to do is be the catalyst, something that helps people get projects that they're interested in physical activity, health, lifestyle and sport off the ground and working with the University of Limerick. Our goal is to enhance the lives of individuals, the region and the nation. We want to be a world leading environment for the practice and research of sport and physical activity. Now those two words, word leading, are thrown around all the time. I chased it for 15 years of my life as an athlete, never got there. It's about hard work, it's about progress, it's about keeping working towards that goal every single day. I suppose that doesn't happen on its own. That happens with a group of people, a community. It was kind of brought home to me and crystallized a few weeks ago when I met the Olympic 100 meter champion. I'm not talking about Usain Bolt, the 2012 champion, I'm talking about the 2040 Olympic champion. Uh, some of you know uh, I was lucky enough to become a dad five weeks ago for the first time. And like any sort of cliche about a dad, I'm going to take every single opportunity I have to show you pictures of my child. <laughs> but Noah is going to be great. We don't know what he's going to be yet, but he's going to be great. Hillary Clinton wrote a book called It Takes a Village. And it comes from an African problem. It, it takes a village to raise a child. And the, what's the relevance of this to a project from UL? It's going to be more than just an office in the University of Limerick that makes this project work. It's going to be more than just a couple of people working in this university that makes it work. It's going to be the national government bodies we engage with, the faculty in the university, the staff, the 
community groups, the physical education teachers, the people, community activists, athletes, who have ideas and innovations and creativity that we will be the catalyst for making it happen. <coughs> I look forward to working with you. In the meantime, I hope you do come up with ideas. We will be running events called Ideas Factories as the year goes on for you to bring those ideas to us. Um, and if you just keep in touch with us on our website, through Facebook and Twitter, and or just email me at gary.ryan.ul.ie. And finally, I suppose, from a personal point of view, Pat Duffy, as an athlete, I obviously have a lot to appreciate Pat Duffy for. But I was thinking the other day of the amount of athletes who never got to meet Pat Duffy, who wouldn't have known him, who never knew of his work, and yet his legacy has deeply affected their lives in such a positive manner. And I think that is what a legacy should be. People don't even know who you are, and yet you have affected their lives so significantly. I hope you enjoy this evening. I'm going to get out of the way of these wonderful people. So, we're a minimum of